Michaela Chester here with NCAA Digital. The 2023 college softball season is upon us, and I'm going to give you a look at some of the top returning pitchers in the circle. Let's get right into it, starting with the two Sooners that just might be able to lead Oklahoma to a three-peat. Who knew that was possible, but Jordy Ball is back and Alex Storacco transferred in. Ball took the sport by storm last season before her injuries, still managed to make it back and pitch in the national championship as OU took home the trophy. A fiery competitor with crazy good stats too, her 1.09 ERA ranked sixth in the nation, and she was named the 2022 Co-Big 12 Pitcher of the Year. She will be joined this year by Storacco for a loaded OU pitching staff, Storacco came from Michigan, where she finished sixth in the NCAA in strikeouts with 300 last year. As for who joined Jordy Ball as the Big 12 Co-Pitcher of the Year, you might have guessed it, Oklahoma State's Kelly Maxwell. The left-hander led the Cowgirls to the Women's College World Series last season as their ace and posted 12 shutouts, 313 Ks, with a 1.22 ERA over 189 innings of work to be named co-pitcher of the year. She is D1 softball's number two overall player returning for this season. Another name you're probably all familiar with, Megan Faremo, is back for the UCLA Bruins, the 2022 Pac-12 Pitcher of the Year. Faremo is a dangerous two-way player, just the sixth player in UCLA history to both pitch and hit a homer in the same Women's College World Series game. Over in the ACC, Katherine Sandercock is back, another arm with College World Series experience. She finished 2022 second in the nation in wins and earned all three wins for the Seminoles in the ACC tournament as FSU won their 18th conference title. Now here's a name that's been dominating college softball for years. We have one more year of Montana Fouts in the circle for Alabama. The 2021 NFCA Pitcher of the Year missed out on the Women's College World Series last year and didn't quite put up the same caliber numbers as she did in her 2021 campaign. But safe to say you can expect big things from Fouts heading into her final season. Danielle Williams at Northwestern, another one of the best arms in the NCAA, is back for her last season in 2023. Williams finished 22, ranked third in the nation in strikeouts with 333. The first team All-American was the first unanimous Big Ten Pitcher of the Year in program history. Moving on, let's take a look at Shanice Dels over at Arkansas, the 2022 SEC Pitcher of the Year. A really great accomplishment. She led the Razorbacks in the circle to the program's first SEC Tournament Championship and earned the SEC Tournament's MVP honors. Dels is back in 23. Elena Vodder is a name to know on the West Coast at Stanford. You might remember this arm from the 2022 tournament when she pitched two shutouts at Alabama the first time the Crimson Tide had been shut out in the regional round since 2004. Emma Lemley at Virginia Tech is surely a pitcher to watch this season, especially after the departure of their ace, Keely Richard. Lemley was a top three finalist for freshman of the year last season after finishing with a 2.12 ERA and a 186 opponent batting average, should be the go-to ace this year. Two more, watch out for these two names in the SEC, Ashley Rogers at Tennessee and Maddie Penta at Auburn. Rogers coming off of two great seasons for the Volunteers, posted a 2.01 ERA last season with a 156 opponent batting average. Penta picked up a big workload as just a sophomore last year and ended up leading the SEC with a 1.76 ERA giving up just 49 earned runs. There are a lot more. Valerie Cagle, an electric two-way player and phenomenal pitcher, especially when healthy, over at Clemson. Peyton Gottschall transferred to Tennessee after finishing second in the NCAA in strikeouts last season. Jessica Mullins at Texas State is another good one to watch. And we have a great year coming up in college softball.